Today through this video we are going to learn motor of water cooler here how to check this motor. Friends this motor you can see here is multi speed motor that is we can run this motor on three different speed. This motor which you can see here there is some problem in this motor. What is the problem? First understand this. When we turn on this motor it is not running. Now we have to check what is the problem in this motor. To check this motor here we have two options. First option is to check this motor we can use series test lamp and second option we have is multimeter. If we want through series test lamp we can check this or through a multimeter also we can check this. So first we will check through series test lamp because multimeter is not there in every home. Friends before checking this motor I want to share some information with you. This motor I have is a 3 speed motor. It means we can run this motor on low speed, medium speed and high speed. Now from output of this motor 4 wires are there for connection. You can see one is of white color, second red, third blue and a black color wire. Now this motor I have to connect this motor with capacitor here we get two wires. These two wires are already connected with capacitor. Now we want to check this motor. To check this motor to check this motor first of all we require series test lamp. So here I have a lamp. This lamp is already connected with two wires. Now you have to make this as series test lamp. For making series test lamp what you have to do simply connect this wire with any one terminal. I am connecting this here. Now you need to take one more wire. Here I took one wire this one. Now what I will do I am connecting this on another terminal. So I connected this here. Now this wire and this wire here these two are in series now. When I touch these with each other lamp will start glowing. So we made series test lamp. Now we have to check this motor. First of all what we will do we will check with body of motor. Take this one wire and connect with body of motor in this way. After this take second wire and connect with motor wire. That is wires which are coming out of motor for connection connect with this wire to check. So friends in this condition our lamp must not glow. If lamp started glowing then it means that winding of motor is somehow connected with body. So we will check with all the wires one by one. As you can see lamp is not glowing. It means that winding of motor is not in contact with body of motor. Now let us check the winding of this motor. To check winding of motor what we will do with any one wire connect this wire. After this take second wire and connect with other wires. So when we connect with other wire our lamp must glow. When we connected black wire with red wire lamp is glowing. After this when connected with white wire still lamp is glowing and when connected with blue wire here our lamp is not glowing. It means that blue wire is in open condition right now. Let us check this once more with other wire. So I am connecting blue wire with white wire here also lamp is not glowing. On connecting with red wire here also lamp is not glowing. This means that blue wire this one this wire is somehow get opened in winding. It may be possible that winding which was done inside it may got break from somewhere or this wire which is connected with winding it may be opened from there. So you can say this blue wire is in open condition right now. Now let us identify that this blue wire here which one is this wire. If this is common wire then in this condition we cannot run this motor. If this wire is for speed then in this condition we can bypass this and with other wire we can run this motor. If you want to identify which wire is for which purpose then in this condition you need to use multimeter. Now this motor we have we have to check this motor through multimeter. For checking what you have to do take the multimeter and select the resistance position. So here I selected the resistance position. I selected range of 200 ohm. Now what you have to do take probes of multimeter and connect with every wire to check the continuity. That is you have to measure resistance. Friends whenever you measure resistance here then always make a table format like this and write the resistance values you measure. First of all what we will do with red wire measure the resistance of black wire. Here is the red wire we have to measure resistance with black wire. When we measure this let's see how much resistance value we are getting. We are getting resistance as 22.8 ohm. So I am writing here 22.8 ohm. After this measure resistance of red wire with blue wire. Here is the red wire measure resistance with blue wire. 
So friends, as I told you before also, that blue wire is already open. That is, this wire is open from inside, so we will not get any resistance value. If you are not getting any resistance value, then it means that wire is open from somewhere. So here I am writing open. Wire is open. After this, check continuity of red wire with white wire. So let's measure resistance of red wire with white wire. So we are getting resistance as 12.4 ohm. I am writing here 12.4 ohm. Now we can't measure red with red, so leave this. Now between white wire and black wire, we have to measure resistance. Take white wire and black wire to measure resistance. When we measure this, value which is coming is 11.3 ohm. So I am writing here 11.3 ohm. Now we have to measure resistance between white wire and blue wire. Blue wire is in open condition, so we are not getting any value. So here also I am writing open. Now we can't measure white wire with white wire, so leave this. Now measure white wire with red wire. When we measure this, we are getting resistance value as 12.4 ohm. So I am writing 12.4 ohm. Now we can't measure black wire with black wire, leave this. We have to measure black wire with blue wire. When we measure resistance between black wire and blue wire, we are not getting any value because wire is open. After this, between black wire and white wire, we have to measure resistance. Here is the black wire and this is our white wire. When we measure resistance, value which is coming is 11.3 ohm. I am writing here 11.3 ohm. After this, measure black wire with red wire. Here resistance value we are getting is 22.8 ohm. After this, with blue wire, we have to measure all the resistance. So as I told you, blue wire is already opened. So here we will not get any value. So I am writing open here. So friends, we measured all the resistance values. Here you can see blue wire is open. So resistance value is not there. It means blue wire here, this wire, this wire is open. Remaining values of resistance are there. Only resistance in blue wire is not there. Now if resistance here was 0, that is 0 ohm, or if it was 1 ohm or 2 ohm, then we can say winding is short with each other. That is, when blue wire and red wire got short, then resistance value here will be very low. In these resistance values, some are open, I measured resistance of other motor and I noted all the values. After measuring the resistance, if the values are correct, then in this condition, you have to identify that wire we have, which wire is this. That is, for what blue wire is used, for what black wire is used, for what white wire is used, and similarly for what red wire is used. To identify this, you have to see in which condition resistance is highest. When with red wire we measure resistance, you can see here value is low, here is high, here also low. It means different values of resistance are there. So we don't have to see this wire. After this in second wire, here also it is same, here is low, here is high, again low. After this in third wire here, resistance is high, then low, then low. Now when we see resistance of blue wire, here is high, here also high, and here also resistance is high. It means we have to see in which wire all the three resistance values are high. When we measure resistance with blue wire here, then in all the wires resistance value is high. So blue here, this blue wire will be our common wire. After this, you have to see which has highest resistance. In this wire, highest resistance is this one, that is with red wire. So red wire will be of slow speed or we can say low speed. After this, we have to see resistance below this. With white wire, resistance is lower than this, so this will be for medium speed. After this, this black wire, black wire is showing lowest resistance among three. So this black wire will be for high speed. Friends, always remember, wire whose resistance is low will be of high speed and the wire whose resistance is highest will be of slow speed, that is low speed. As I told you in the starting, if blue wire is not open, in place of this, red wire, white wire or black wire got opened, then in this condition, we can run this through bypass. How to do it? Let's understand. Look, blue wire we have, this wire is connected with neutral power supply. This is why if blue wire may get open, then in this condition, we have to repair this motor. But if red wire becomes faulty, here red wire is of low speed. So without using red wire, remaining two wires 
black wire and white wire by using these two wires we can run motor through black wire we can run motor in maximum speed and through white wire we can run this in medium speed here low speed wire will not work but two other will work similarly if white wire becomes faulty then in this condition motor will work on low speed and maximum speed and similarly if black wire becomes faulty and this capacitor is connected here then in this condition medium and low speed will work but in this condition capacitor must be connected here if it got open from here only then we can't run this motor that's it friends so friends i hope now you understood that how we can check this motor friends if you still have any doubt then you can ask me your questions in the comment box friends if you want to learn how to connect motor winding in star and delta then click on the right hand side video to watch